show you how to take a worksheet and how to turn it basically into an editable Google slide. First, you, um, if it's a PDF, you'll need to save it as an image. Um, let's see. So I'm using Adobe and I'm just going to file, export as an image and PNG is usually a high quality. Uh, there are many programs you can use to export a PDF, no, an image. Um, if it's a paper worksheet, you could take a high resolution photo or scan of it that way as well. So I already have mine saved. So when you get to your Google slide, you're going to have to adjust it to be the size of an actual paper. So if you go to File, Page Setup, we're going to change it to Custom Size, 8.5 by 11. Uh, of course, if it was landscape, you would do 11 by 8 by 5. Uh, now, I don't want students to be able to move the uh, image, so I'm going to put it in as a background. I'm going to go to File, Change Background, Choose Image. I already have it uploaded in my Google, Google Drive. Here we go. Now, for students to be able to text on it, you'll need to add a text box. I'll say something that maybe have the answer here. And let's see, and luckily it looks like this size works. I can go down to the next line. You may have to play around with, with the size and stuff to get it to work on your lines. Let's see. I'll just put the same thing here. Let's see. And of course, make it a little bit bigger. So I'll make sure, yep, still works. Okay. And yep. Of course I'm gonna make that bigger. Okay. And then whatever question I'm I'm having them write about, I would I would type my writing prompt here. So maybe I have, like, I want them to respond to a reading. So there we go. And now I have my short answer writing prompt as an edible worksheet, edible Google slide. Um, to share this with students, I would go to my Google Classroom. I would create the assignment. Uh, I would attach this Google slide. And when I do that, I would make sure I select make a copy for each student. That way, each student gets their own copy um, that they can edit and then turn back in to you. Or, you know, set a Google Classroom, whatever way that you're using the Google slide. Okay. Um, you can get that uh, short answer writing prompt on my store, eteachslay.com. Uh, will lead you to my Teacher Pay Teacher store. Uh, it's also my blog where you can find more helpful um, teaching aids. Thank you.